IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Just wait, just wait. It is the Raw Wrap-Up. I'm Mike Sorgat, Sorgatron on the Twitter. Here to talk Monday Night Raw with you guys out here live on the Facebook Live at the Wrestling Mayhem Show page. And we are also, of course, out there in the internet land. You subscribe to the Raw Wrap-Up. Uh, look for it. WWE Raw Wrap-Up for Wrestling Mayhem Show Super Feed on your iTunes and your podcatchers, as well as uh, by itself as well. And you guys have fun and join us here again Tuesday nights. I'm sorry, Monday nights. Right after Raw. What's up, Dave, in the chat room? What's up, Jason? What's up, everybody else joining us? Thank you so much. With me, as usual, is my compatriot. He is the only one on the Wrestling Mayhem Show roster with the Future Endeavor letter from the WWE. He is in Poughkeepsie, New York, and he is the Mad Mike. Hey, Sorg. Um, so, Sorg, I have a bit of an illustration. Okay? Are you ready for this? Mm hmm This is the SmackDown roster. That is a Lego Incredible Hulk for those on audio. Yes, yes, for those on audio. This is the SmackDown roster, a Lego Incredible Hulk. Formidable, threatening, yes, but ultimately lovable. This is the SmackDown roster for Survivor Series. Also a Lego Incredible Hulk, but from Ragnarok. Yes, who will fuck you up with giant axes and hammers. Mm, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, uh, that that's basically where we're at. It was it was a pretty that's incredible night. Pretty incredible night. I I gotta say because I was watching through most of the night and I, I found myself just kind of thinking, you know what? Just for a three hour raw, I thought it was a pretty good raw. It was a it was a fun raw. There's a lot of things happening. Um, it, it caught my attention more than most. I don't know if I'm just on the on the warm up off off of uh, TLC last night, or maybe just AJ Styles in the first match. Which again, I missed the first maybe 20 minutes, so I don't know how we even got to that match. But uh, but no, I, I thought there was a lot of going on that 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 I had fun with before we even got to this uh, under siege moment that we'll get to here in a, in a minute. By the way, no appearance of Steven Seagal. What the hell? Ooh, yeah, that's an issue. Where's the? I cook? mean, unless he's get, unless he's gonna be guest referee at Survivor Series. I mean, come on. That would be great. Yeah. We have had Chuck <laughs> Norris in the past. Exactly my point. Exactly, and he was at Survivor Series. Uh, they're saying. So, uh, they, they, by the way, we got the chat room saying to smack me, you guys, to smack down me to you guys. Uh, to 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 smack me, to, to smack, smack me, to smack me. Yeah, maybe to smack me to too. Smack. There you go. Hold on, hold on. To, yeah, to yeah. Smack. Get it, get it right there, right in there in the camera. There to, you go. To <sighs> smack. There you go. To smack. To smack. Um. To smack. So. To so, smack. Oh, Sorg. Um. I. Now you know I I like to be a bit of a contrarian. I like to. I thought that's oh, just no, your no. natural state. It it occasionally is. Okay. I thought the last hour of Raw tonight was brilliant. It kind of was, wasn't it? And I thought it was pretty good no, before but, that. Like, I was liking it at 10 o'clock. And then they said, hey, let's not give up the last hour. I I was okay for the rest of it. Uh, did not If we had to do the how much of Raw was watchable, I'd say three hours, but only if you watched the third hour three times. Okay, all right. There were because honestly, while cool to see AJ with the shield, mm -hmm. ultimately, it meant nothing. Okay, sure, but it, it's oh, still oh, something. Oh, no, no, but, it, we're, we're, we're we're talking television where we have to catch your attention when you're flipping channels between this and Monday Night Football, and be like, "Oh shit, but AJ's it was here tonight." Way too long. It was way too long of a match. Okay, what the most star on <laughs> Raw? Let's be honest. Yeah, but most star. I mean. For the first forty-five minutes, about AJ and the Shield and the and Mizraj, mm -hmm. like, and then even after that, Kane laid waste to everyone. Like, hey, all you main eventers, no, fuck off. The red guy has to talk. Mm -hmm. Like, and then I don't know. It, it was. It's a weird. Like, you can tell. This is all on the fly. Mm -hmm. 
because we're missing oh, some fly. we're missing so much core roster with the shield and everybody, right? Well, you're not even missing so much core roster. You're just missing for key elements of the core roster. Absolutely. The ones you've been building up for the last several months. Yeah, exactly. Um, which I'm not even going to get into TLC and how I thought they could have fixed it instead of wasting Kurt Angle's return to the <laughs> ring. We knew we knew you'd have a better plan. Yeah, that plan is Matt Hardy. Ooh. Yeah, the plan is Matt Hardy. Ma- Braun tried to kill Matt Hardy. Mm-hmm. The shield saved him. And then, who knows tables, liars, and chairs better than Matt Hardy? This is true. This is true. Maybe... Like, and that's that's an easy fix. And then you can have Matt Hardy get destroyed, and you can break him. You can take him off TV and have him come back post Survivor Series as broken Matt Hardy going after Braun Strowman. Boom. That's the real story they should have done. Instead, we wasted Kurt coming back because they had that video package ready. Because I have a feeling this. Raw was pretty similar to what well, we were well, going even to see. That video pack, which was mostly his his Hall of Fame video with more new audio over it. But I, I have a feeling they had that already mm-hmm. ready because of our reserves. Absolutely. Uh, F Smackdown from Sean in the chat room. For the first time in a while, everyone on the uh, roster had time on the show. Yeah, especially especially that Smackdown roster, right? Uh, I, you it, know what I did? You know what I did like seeing Sorg? Fucking bum rush Jason Jordan. Oh, jeez. There's a lot of... fantastic. There is a lot of creative um, things that happened where, uh, man, AJ Styles didn't get any licks on the Good Brothers. Uh, Chad Gable was not at the front of the rush to, to Jason Jordan. You know, they, they still yes, kept a was. lot of those things. Was he? No, he, he, he was the guy who bum rushed Jason Jordan. Oh, jeez. He was the guy who bum rushed him. So much angst. So much angst. Well, that was evident. And poor Dana Brooke. <laughs> poor, poor Dana Brooke running away like like the boulder in Indiana Jones. <laughs> <laughs> A big blue boulder in Indiana Jones. A big blue and red boulder named Becky Lynch. Oh, no. Oh, no. There were several key elements that were not in that whole scene. Mm-hmm. Kane, not in that scene. Mm-hmm. Uh, Bray and Roman, obviously. Well, well, Kane lives in the um, boiler room, so. Yeah, but Kane, uh, Roman and Bray, obviously, and also not a part of that. Wait, who was that? Uh, uh, your connection dropped out. Oscar. Mm-hmm. Also not a part of that, and Alexa actually. Alexa wasn't part of that either. You have a couple key elements from the raw side not being involved, and also. No Randy Orton, no Kevin Owens, no Sami Zayn. Very, very important things. Not, and, of course, no Jinder Mahal because Jinder Mahal, as uh, Kurt Angle called him, hmm. to get destroyed. Uh, Jinder is going to be sent back to his home planet. Uh, his home planet? <laughs> it's, it's, it's been a good run, Jinder Mahal. Good, 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 good work, Jinder. Good work, Jinder. I, I kind of hope that Brock suplexes Jinder so hard. After Survivor Series, he comes out with his 3MB music. <laughs> it's just one man. <laughs> oh, wow. That would be so and great. And the Thing Brothers have to play along mm-hmm. because in a sitcom, when a guy has amnesia, that's what you have to do. You placate him. Like... Yeah. Like, like one of the Singh brothers puts on a red wig and pretends to be Heath Slater. The other one prote- holds the NXT championship and pretends to be Drew McIntyre. Like, <laughs> I, I really hope we go that far with it. We're not gonna, but I really hope we do. So tell me what you really think about Kane, uh, you know, that young up-and-comer uh, Kane, as Dave's put in oh the chat room. Oh, my God. Um... <sighs> Finn should just go back to New Japan. <laughs> Um, no, after I'm not having joking. a killer match joking. with AJ Styles the night before, he gets punked out by Kane. I'm, I'm, I'm not joking. He should just go back to New Japan. They, or at least go back to NXT. They don't know what to do with him on Raw, because Sorg and and I'll drive this point into the ground as hard as I possibly can. There is no championship to go after on Raw. 
No. Because that is being held for Roman to take from Brock at WrestleMania. All we're doing, that's all we're ever going to be doing until April, where I may leave WrestleMania early because I know what the outcome of that match is going to be. Well, yeah, you'll have some partying to do anyways. Exactly. You got you like, to get that bead collection to work on. If if Miz was the Universal Champion, how much cooler would Raw be right now? Mm-hmm. It'd be a lot cooler. It would be like, because you can have Brock do Brock-like things without being the champion. Oh, wait, let's bring it around to um, the Cruiserweights. Again, 10-man oh, tag for the Cruiserweights. It, so it much was great fun. was happening. I mean, we, we had... We why had, is that not a Survivor Series? Why is that? Because it was a great segment for Raw. But but you can have a great segment for Raw and have, like, save a 10-man tag for Survivor Series where it's but elimination style. We're, we're all... Like, we're, we're, as usual, we're in this, this mode where you preview the ideas that are going to be at the gimmick show. So, no one needs a preview of what a 10-man tag is. But either way, I needed that 10-man tag tonight, Mike. I needed Drew Gulak. I needed a reason for Drew Gulak to say the promo for a, a voice uh, ailed Enzo. I, I, needed, I needed that to happen. I, I'm not, there was I'm not so much good that in that too. match. It was a fun match, and it was... And it's the cruiserweights. It's just fine yes. that that's happening on but Raw. Sorg. But Sorg, imagine if that had been given about six or seven more minutes on a pay per view. You wouldn't have cared. It matters. You wouldn't have cared because you'd I be on a pay- no, no, no. Why would it matter? Because it's on a pay per view. You would. It would. It, it would have been buried in in all this Raw versus SmackDown stuff, and then we'd be asking why are they having a six uh, a ten man Survivor Series match over here because it's no, not Raw no, versus no SmackDown. No one ever questions a ten man tag at Survivor Series because guess what? That's what Survivor Series is fucking for. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's what Survivor Series is for. It's for 10-man tags. And it wasn't even that. I mean, it wasn't even a Survivor Series match or anything. I mean, they're, they're previewing and maybe we will have a Survivor Series match then. I mean, if, if we get if we get a Survivor Series Cruiserweight match on, like, the pre-show or something, and it's different teams and we throw in, like, your uh, Jack Gallagher and Brian Kendrick, okay, fine. I rescind all my comments. Get that, and I don't think we will, then I felt like it was kind of wasted. But it was a good match. Did you not have fun? Are you not entertained by the flippy guys? I said it was a good match. I just asked a question. Why isn't it on Survivor Series? Answer. The cruiserweights <laughs> are the Switzerland of WWE, says Matt. And how will Corey Graves handle tomorrow night? Awkward. Yeah. <laughs> Considering how much I commentators. I would have loved it if the SmackDown rosters destroyed Michael Cole and Booker T and just left Corey Graves like, we cool. <laughs> like, just left him. That'd be fun. No, no, Basically, that would, that would be see, fun. I want to see Michael Cole and Booker T get destroyed anyway. So that's, that's my own personal thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Other than that, uh, we had, uh, you know, again, good to see. Uh, again, everybody's kind of involved in one thing or another, but we did have three, I thought pretty good women's uh, segments. I really enjoyed Alicia Fox. Fox. Oh, that was the big. That was my favorite thing of the night. It is her thing her pantomiming uh, 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 the shadow playing? I guess it was called Bailey for this. Uh, you know, for this match, and she is now the leader of Team Raw. How much hey, fun are know, we going to have with this? That's going to be great. And judging by. What Team SmackDown's bringing, it looks like you're going to need a little bit of crazy leading Team Raw. Absolutely. And and you know what? Props to Alicia Fox. Seriously, one of the hardest workers in the whole division. And she's getting some due, and that, that's really great. And her being in there with younger girls that are doing amazing, amazing up-and-comers in, in, in Sasha and Bailey and Asuka and Alexa Bliss, and she's getting this. And she's, you know, and also she's got great people to work off of now, which she has not had for a good long time. Mm-hmm. Part, of me, part of me really hopes that Alicia Fox picks every girl on the roster that hasn't been on TV in months. 
It, 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 it's it's well, the she picks the she picks the end the rest team uh-huh. and they beat SmackDown. Like I want I want a five on five team: Alicia Fox, Emma, Summer Rae, Dana Brooke, Summer and Rae. Mickey James. Like that's my team. I don't want Sasha and Bailey on Survivor Series. You got you got Oscar or Oscar for you that got, matter. You got Oscar. Screw, no, no, I don't want any of them. I want Alicia Fox to pick her crazy team: mm-hmm. Emma, Dana, Summer Rae. And Mickey James, mm-hmm. because that would be intriguing. But it's not going to happen that way. But it would still be damn intriguing. Either way, it's on fire right now. I think the divisions are doing good. I think they're doing a little better at filling out these three hours. Um, but there was a lot to get done tonight. Well, that's because that. Well, they had one match that lasted forty-five minutes. The, wait, uh, yeah, yeah, I guess it did, but it was ten people, so you didn't really notice, I guess. No, no, six the six man tag. Mm-hmm. Six man tag lasted like between the segment that set up the six man tag and the match itself. That was basically the first hour of Raw. Oh wow. Okay, they, they, maybe that's I mean, why that's Raw. Not... That's what. That's why Raw felt so much better to me because I came in a half an hour late. Yeah, exactly. Like. It, I came. I came. I came right into the mushy middle, that felt right and had a pace to it. And we got rid of this this front end fluff kind of situation. Are you putting yeah. the Enzo hair on the dog? Did you just put the Enzo hair on the Chihuahua? Is that what just happened in front of me right now? Oh, jeez. I mean, that, that seems accurate. That's yeah. And, yeah, and for the people asking bit. about Paige, for the people asking about Paige in the chat room, Paige has been suspended again. So I wouldn't expect Damn. to see her. Although she is tweeting about the show. Pa- Paige is never coming back, guys. No, no, no. Paige is having too much pa- fun. Paige- you, you know Paige was in the neighborhood? I saw that. Relatively. Down, I saw uh, that. Washington, PA. Yeah. Uh, and, she should have gone to Slice on Broadway. She should have. She should have come up here on Slice on Broadway, swung by the studio, give us a high five, as she should have. But, uh, um, yeah. yeah, Paige, Paige, I think, will be sooner a knockouts champion before she's back on Raw ooh, or SmackDown. Ooh, but definitely not a global force women's champion. But anyways, that's a story for another day. Uh, yes, sir, but yeah. no, I wait. So so let's get the, you know, beyond the bits. We we had a big invasion. Yeah. We yeah, had, awesome. you know, you, you're you going into, oh, we're going to have another good old Raw versus SmackDown Survivor Series. Hashtag bragging rights. What was that pay-per-view? Um, and then and then <laughs> Shane, I want this to be explained that Shane, um, uh, a, a, fell off the cage, and now it's evil Shane because he hit his head. Or B, uh, I want his explanation says, you know, I tried an invasion some 17 years ago. And I think I'm going to do it right this time. <laughs> That'd be really great. Be like, I'm no stranger to this concept, and like the fifth time's a charm. Let's do this. Um, you know what the real explanation should be? Shane just walks out. He has a microphone. And he's like, you guys, Kevin Owens was right. <laughs> that's you, what you saw on Monday. That's the way to handle things. Mm-hmm. We've been doing it wrong. We will do it right now. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Just admit Kevin Owens was right. I I also can't like, wait. It should have been Kevin Owens leading that barrage. It should have. Yes. I also no. It he should have. He's been. too busy being a zombie. <laughs> I don't know if you saw that commercial where him and oh, Sasha are yeah. zombies for the Mattel commercial. Yeah. Yeah, no, those those figures have been out for months. Oh, of course, but I mean, it's the season to actually advertise them. Um, yeah, that's true. It, but uh, no, 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 and and I also can't wait to see reaction from Daniel Bryan because I cannot think that Daniel Bryan will approve. He will be the I disappointed mean, father whenever he comes in there. But oh, that's true. But um, I'll say this: if Shane and Kurt Angle are a part of those five on five teams. Fuck them. Really? Honestly, yes. No, fuck them. Because they're taking roster spots. I am all of a no, 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 no. no. If they're managers, if they're managers and they get involved with each other outside the ring, totally fine. I'm okay with that. I'm on board with it. 
I am completely opposite, Mike, because these two have a history. These two are yeah, I, I know. Wrestlers. I was at that show. I was I, yes. at that show. So I, it only it only makes sense. I think you're wasting them if they're not included in this match. No, no. They're wasting a roster spot. Kurt Angle had to be out of that match for 25 minutes last night. Ooh, that is a good point. Wait, 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 no, 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 no. I have a more anymore. I have a more important match. I have a more more important word here. Uh, one, it's it, and it's going to be a ten man tag, so you can cover up a lot of stuff. But Dave's saying that uh, if Evil Shane, if he is an Evil Shane, he needs a goatee. Yes, he needs to grow that that's, overnight. That's true. That's Make true. Up. Yeah. Makeup. There you go. Um, that, that's true. It's it's solved. <laughs> but uh, he needs he needs to go. He needs to grow the Kevin Owens facial hair. Kevin, <laughs> he kind of does, Dude, doesn't because- he? Kevin like Owens he's just letting right. it go. He's just letting it grow out. You know, it's all great too. But you know, yeah. Uh, Brandon is saying I could probably bet someone a hundred bucks that Raw will do the same thing tomorrow, and um, you're probably right. Probably, you are probably right. Although they all come out in shield vests now because now we are all the shield. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. By the way, hey, hey, by the way, no, 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 uh, positive on the shield. I'm just so happy that Seth Rollins just ninja jumped out of nowhere for uh, yeah. this. The, like, Seth realizing what was happening and trying a blindside attack, that was probably that whole thing. I can't wait for the WWE Universe comic that tells about the backstory of them discovering that some shit's going down and, and trying to figure out a way to, to circumvent this. You know, I mean, this, this is the Sorg. book that I'm looking forward to. Oh, shit. Speaking of the... Ha! <laughs> look, at, look at what I happen to have here. So look at that. It's like, they, it's, it's, like, it's, it's like they should be a sponsor or something. If you want actual WWE storytelling... This is really good stuff. It I'm is. Not, I need to catch up. Lying. I'm a few behind. Like, I need to catch up. Like this is the SummerSlam event. They talk about um, New Day fighting the natural disasters. What? Just like, uh, yeah. They Wait, talk are, about are, the are, back. Are they still time traveling? Talk about the background for the for the boiler room brawl. Oh, they uh, they talk about um, the whole backstory between Dusty Rhodes and the Macho Man. Wait, what? Like you're, yeah. Like you're Macho King. Welcome. Like Macho King. Yeah, you're fucking welcome. Oh, it's geez. really great. Like, look in the corner there. That's Randy Macho King Savage. Holy shit! The Fat Man Dusty Rhodes. Holy shit! I need to pick this up. Yeah, it, yeah, it's fucking great. I got that shit at Comic Con. Oh. I I definitely read that immediately. It was really good. But um. But yeah, uh, Daniel Bryan can't be on board with this. Mm-mm. Like, you know what? I, you know what would be awesome, Sorg. Do you know what would be amazing mm-hmm. if Daniel Bryan comes out tomorrow night and says, "Shane, after that unprovoked attack on the Raw roster, you and I, I can't do business anymore. I quit." I could see that. I could see that. Like that would be real, real cool. And then as soon as he quits, the whole Raw roster comes out and just beats the shit out of Daniel Bryan. Like, it turns into a giant... It, it turns into a giant thing. Whoa. Yeah. Did you hear that? What was that? That was... Yeah. The, the, the train was honking at something. Oh, okay. That's what happened. Uh, so, Sorg, um, from part of tonight's Raw, what did you think of Paul Heyman? Hmm... <laughs> What what do you what do you mean? What do you think? Just just in general, I like, mean Paul Heyman did a Paul like, Heyman, like basically burying Jinder Mahal. <laughs> oh yeah yeah he did a little bit didn't he? Like usually it come oh, out. He did a he, lot he, of he it. Did. He was this close to mentioning three MB. Mm. He was real he, real close. He has to several it. weeks to fill. Three MB will be brought like, up. Like yeah I mean he's gonna he's gonna and he's gonna come out like. You're not even the most credible member of 3MB. <laughs> like, he's going to come out with that. Yeah. Oh, God. It... But still, but still, I mean, it, it was... It... Why are we getting this match? Who, who asked for this match? Like... You know what I want to see? You know what? You know what I didn't know I wanted to see? 
Um, Brock Lesnar destroying the Singh brothers. It's going to be the same thing as Randy Orton destroying the Singh brothers. No, 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 no. It'll be so much more spectacular to watch Brock Lesnar tear Eh. those guys apart. Come on. Eh. Eh. No, I'm I'm bothered because this is another pay-per-view with no championships on the line. It's Survivor Series. Yeah, but... Like, no championships? None? Yeah, listen, listen, Mike, you'll get your championships defended every month when they, they open the uh, 1999 model for WWE Network. Wait, what is that? Oh, you didn't hear? No. That's where the real pay-per-views are going to be. I, I, I still don't understand what you're talking about. Yeah, the, the 1999 WWE Network where the championships actually get defended every month. Sorg, if this is a joke, you better tell me the punchline right now. Um, also includes Ring of Honor? That's not a real thing. <laughs> what, Ring of Honor? Or it's the not... network I just described? Yes. Both. Yes to all. Oof, Neither oof. of those are real Larry, things. Larry says Jinder couldn't be more buried if he was stuck in a mine shaft. Mad Mike, how much of Raw was watchable for you tonight? Like I said, the last hour, three times over. Everything oh, before that can go. take or leave. I'm going 245. Yeah. And I only watched like 230. Um, So you're stuck in a time paradox. A little bit. I, I hope you. I, I hope you're really happy with that. With that young kid Kane going over over that veteran oh, Finn Balor. Oh man! Oh man! That young kid Kane's got Clean a future. Clean as a sheep, by the way. Yes, it Clean was. Clean as a fucking sheep. Also, just as pale. Um, they can at least at least have the lights out and go brat, and then he gets distraction. Like, nope, mm-hmm. nothing. We just Kane. Kane's not, not going to win a mayoral race, so he's got to beat up a demon, y'all. Hey, you know that's how you take it out. Um, yeah, I, I did. I did step into a TARDIS today, Mike. So, well, Doctor Boo, fucking who? <laughs> Mad Mike, where can people find you? Oh, you can find me at Mad Mike four eight eight three on the Twitter machine. Also, go to at Mayhem Show. Oh, Sorg, I'm not gonna live tweet Lucha Underground anymore. I know. What are we gonna do? We had our big blowout I mean, with Chris oh. Joseph. I got some really good <sighs> feedback on our on our on our t- two hour discussion with Chris Joseph, co executive producer of Lucha Underground. He yeah, we we had a long talk with him. <laughs> there was there was very little that he would not answer. Let's put it this way, and we usually press. Yes, I, the the one thing that we wanted a firm answer on, unfortunately, he could not give us. No, he does not have the ability to. Uh, man, there you go. Uh, Matt Carlin says Survivor Series is like Mania; doesn't really exist in the main WWE continuity. Yeah, no, we should do we should do a Mayhem series. Kind of mayhem, uh, a Mayhem. Oh, okay, okay. Like Mayhem Mania. <gasps> oh, oh, we could. E- oh, Sorg, I I have a brainwave. I'll tell you off air. Okay. I, I have a brainwave. I'm, I'm telling you off air. Okay. I don't want to lose it. Okay. Okay. There we go. Uh, but anyways, we'll see you guys. Mad Mike, 4883 on the Twitter. We're here live with Marshall Gambino. Going to be punching people faces right here in the studio. Uh, 10 p.m. Eastern time, live.wrestlingmayhemshow.com. Tuesday. We'll have the interview there afterwards. Um, and uh, please check out everything on sorgatronmedia.com. Check out our good friends. Uh, checking out the Sawtooth Willie video series. Uh, we had a lot of fun there with uh, Katie and Will and their alter egos um, and, uh, and and so much good stuff going on these days. And like I said, check out the Midweek War with Krista Joseph from last Thursday. It is the only Midweek War that we watched. I finished all my shows Thursday or Friday night. <laughs> Sorry, 205 Live and NXT. Uh, until next time, thank you, everybody in the chat room. Keep it raw.